everybody. I have a really, really great opportunity or idea for you. Um, a lot of you are coming to me asking, you know, what is my life purpose? What am I here to do? Many of you are starting your own businesses and you're doing all kinds of different things. You're doing energy work on people and, you know, you're helping the planet evolve. You're helping the, the planet go deeper with its healing in a sense. And so I've brought Christina Winslow of WellPoint Hypnosis Method on today to discuss something um, that I have personally taken um, her WellPoint Hypnosis Method um, past life regression classes. She's, I think it's been like, what am I on level? You're level two. You'll soon be level, level two three. So <laughs> these classes, these classes will like blow your mind. If you decide to do something like this, and we're going to explore it today to see if you would want to do something like this, but oh my gosh, you guys, it is so beneficial to go, as you know, it's so beneficial to go back into past lives and find out why you're doing what you're doing or why things are between you and your masculine. And I know Christina has some incredible love stories as to like near hit and misses. And I want you, if you could share about that, I don't know if you can share, you know, you pick what you're going to share. But that oh, sure about those people who were like, they were, they really felt like stuck in this situation with a certain person they were married to and their true love is out here. And then they figured out what the dynamic was and it all changed. You know, that kind of stuff happens in these sessions. It's incredible. Yes. And you learn all about, um, you learn all about like quantum mechanics, things that you would never think. What it, and what is it called that, um, when, when people like have those experience, like you remember something different than somebody else. And right, right. Like a certain There's, song has a certain word in it, and then you go to listen to it again. It's like, wait, where the, the Mandela effect? A lot of people yes, are remembering Mandela. different things. Dude, she goes into all of that stuff. It's incredible. In her her classes are absolutely incredible. Some of you have had a regression done by me as well. Yes, um, get one from yes. Amy. <laughs> She's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, and you can go to um, you can go to my tab regressions if you want to take a look at that further if you want to read more about more information it points to their website as well to gather more information and her husband is ted winslow and he's this award-winning um, producer of music producer and he is has made this particular like heartwarming incredibly expansive high vibrational music to complement these regressions so he, he actually, they offer a free album to get you kind of acclimated to the high vibration level before you even have a regression. So you're kind of ready and expansive for it. You kind of have to get like acclimated, you know, to really get ready to relax your body and to really get in the, in the right mind frame to be able to be really receptive of the information that comes through. So um, I think that's just the coolest thing. And then so when you get these regressions, you also get all this incredible music. And we're going to bring Ted Winslow also on here to do one of our celebrity series talks. And, and I'm going to pick his brain about like how he even became a producer, how that all started. He's been able to do what, what is it called? The Krillian effect or something like that. He's worked with the guy who does the energy. Yeah, the inventor from St. Petersburg, Russia. Yeah. yeah. And all of his music is tested. All of WellPoint Hypnosis Method is tested. And it, it actually changes the energy field. It can fill in holes in the aura. Um, we've even seen the energetic patterns of, you can see like weak organs and that type of thing from this photography system. Wow. But <laughs> after listening to his music, and we've also done testing on after WellPoint Hypnosis Method sessions, that the life force energy changes and it increases significantly. And, and so um, we, won't, we don't put anything out on the market unless it's tested because we want to make sure that it does what it says it does. So. Well, and I even, I even learned from you in the class how to do my own like self-hypnosis audio. Mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. And it's incredibly beneficial for me. And so, I mean, I just go through it periodically when I feel like I need a good cleanse and I, I cleanse myself of it. like, I won't go into all the details, but any like contracts and vows and all of this stuff, any kind of psychic attacks or negativity that's on me, it's like, 
it's like a, a powerhouse for like <laughs> half an hour audio I've made myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, we'll teach theater. you guys how to do that, how to do your own self hypnosis <laughs> with, with it. Yeah, <laughs> and so I'm just like, oh, I'm like buzzing. <laughs> and you get such incredible information, even like when you're doing it for yourself, you get incredible information from that as well as when you have somebody like a practitioner like me or Christina do it for you. So, mm -hmm. you um, you know, tell us a little bit about what makes WellPoint different or like or sure. even talk about like what, how are past life regressions even beneficial? Maybe some, some of the people watching this may not be all that familiar with past lives. Can you explain like, what are they about? and Why do we need them? Why do we need to look sure. past? I'd love to. And first of all, Amy, thank you so much. I just love Amy. <laughs> She's, isn't she great? Everybody <laughs> out there. I know you guys love her too. And <laughs> she does such great work. And yeah, Aww. you know, I love how you're so open with um, your audience and you really truly walk your talk and you really <laughs> truly from your deep cellular soul level want to help people. You know, and, and that's rare to meet someone like that. So, Amy, you're changing the world. You're doing great work out there with all your videos and radio shows and readings and regressions oh, and all you. the work you do. So I just want to thank you for having me on the show. And, yeah, and of course. Just thank honored you. to thank know you. you. Um, so hey, vice versa. Vice versa. I'm really <laughs> glad we crossed paths. You've been amazing. Yeah. Well, okay. So... <laughs> So let's talk about how is it different? Let's, yeah. because a lot, and you know, I resisted Amy for years. I was doing this my own, on my own clients, writing my own books and working with, you know, I had a year waiting list. I did, I was not looking to teach this, but then all these people out of the blue started contacting me. Ted would go on a radio show with someone I had never met, but a lot of psychic radio shows like this the host she she was very strong intuitive or psychic and she said I don't know what your wife is doing but you need to tell her to contact me and I need to fly out and learn what she's doing and I'm going to oh fly my, my business partner out and Whoa. then I would have you know I did an interview on someone many many years ago about five six years prior and I get a call from home. I didn't even know she had my home number. <laughs> and she's like, I don't know what you're doing, but my guides said, and my tarot said, I need to learn whatever you're doing. I'm going to drive up from out of state. So this was happening. And it's randomly, okay? And I'm like, well, maybe I should teach it. But why should I teach it? There's a lot of other past life regression things out there. And just because I'm doing it and it works for my clients, what and I apologize, my headset keeps falling today. Um, but so anyway, I'm thinking, well, why should I teach it? There's so many other, you know, things out there. And the request kept happening, 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 and it got to a point where it was over a four year period, and it and it just it was happening so much, Amy. I was afraid if I said no anymore to the universe, <laughs> what's gonna happen? You know? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, yes. You know when you get that side, I just remember uh, I went to a psychic reading like 30 years ago, you know, and the psychic said, you know, you'll get a tap, you'll get a tap, and if you don't listen, you'll get a big two by four over the head, <laughs> and I was like, two by four, I don't want a two by four, <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'll go ahead and teach it <laughs> what I'm doing in case some, you know, people are out there and they want to do it, and so, um, and then as I was going through it to teach it to other people, because it's different than when you're doing it on your own, right? Because you're like, how do I explain all this? Mm -hmm. And as I was going through it, Amy, um, basically, and I don't want to bore the audience with all the details on how it's different, but it's definitely next generation in um, past life regression, future life progression. We do parallel lives. We do future lives. And it's all backed with quantum physics and science, what we do, which is much different than the typical past life regressions where they call in their angels or spirit guides to do it. Um, 
and I'm not against any of that. We're just doing it different. We're doing it more from the quantum physics, brainwave frequencies, also proven hypnosis techniques. So because we're doing it different and we're, we are working just with the soul consciousness of the client, um, a lot of times you get different results than maybe some of the other past life regression work out there. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how we're different. Um, we have every belief system on earth. You keep your belief system, keep your religion. We have people that don't even believe in past lives <laughs> that take the class and do past life regression. But actually, according to quantum physics and science, and this is even um, commonly known and taught in psychology, traditional psychology, the subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between a picture of a car and a real car. So the reason I'm bringing that up, mm -hmm. you don't have to believe in past mm -hmm. lives to benefit. What if it's just a story your subconscious mind gives you in the session to help you release something and find the source? Yeah. Release it. And according to quantum physics, the observer can change the observed. And there's a exactly, yes. famous Schrodinger cat. Look that up, you guys. <laughs> I don't want to go into boring quantum physics. But there's actually um, experiments they did to prove that theory. So if it's Everything just you go into to Harry Potter land and Universal Studios or, right, <laughs> think about it, or Disneyland, the mind is so powerful in the – in the work we do with the brainwave frequencies that Ted writes, mm -hmm. and it, it's a much different alchemy than the typical past life regression, even if they use music with it. So okay. does that kind of explain it? I hope. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so why do you past life regressions? Why do it? Yeah. Okay. So I, and I'll back this up a little. I was raised Catholic and we were told there's no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then I was like, but I know things I shouldn't know. And I know, you know, and as a kid, right. So I always questioned authority and I always thought, well, why couldn't we have past lives? Because if the soul lives on, which a lot of us believe that, why couldn't we come back for a few go arounds? And yeah. that was always my viewpoint. So, um, over the years, past lives would come up with people, and it was interesting how there was a correlation into the current life. So, mm -hmm. and I can use my own experience if you want me to. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, I'll give you an example. I was mm -hmm. allergic to cats, I, not to the point where I needed a prescription, but, you know, the red, hivey, itchy Oh, wow. Nose, <laughs> eyes, I need Benadryl. If wow. someone had a cat and I went into their home, if I didn't take a Benadryl, you know, it was like, don't touch anything and I can't stay long. That. Okay, so the kid, my, my kids are big animal lovers and just like, you know, we have dogs. They wanted to adopt rescue kittens. And I'm like, but mom's allergic. I can't be on Benadryl, Aww. you know. And I and and Ted said, well, let me put you in a session. <laughs> Let's see where the if there was a source. Let's see why you have it. Do you know there was a past life where we found that I was really poor and I was around all this like kind of disease. You know what I mean? Like, imagine super super horrible conditions. Um, poverty, um, you know, I didn't get a time frame, but it like 1500s, 1400s, and there were all these cats, and I hated the cats. Mm. And we cleared that. Okay, so there's why a past life. <clears throat> I didn't realize I went in, I had a past life like that. We cleared it in the session. Then my soul consciousness took me to this lifetime when I was a child. Mm -hmm. And we found that this is how WellPoint is different. You know, we're traveling through and we, we set the intention, okay, 
can I get rid of this cat allergy or what's the source, right? That was the question. Mm -hmm. This lifetime, I had all this judgment mm -hmm. about cats because my mom didn't like cats. My sisters didn't like cats. Oh, my God. And they, there was all this judgment surrounding it. My sisters were allergic to cats. So I took on that thought form, that programming, that socialization. I was making myself allergic to cats. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, so anyway, we did know. the session. We, we yeah. finished out the session, and, we're, and we were still like, okay, let's see if this works, right? We adopted two rescue kittens. No, I have not had one Benadryl. These cats are all over my desk at home. And I mean, they're, yeah, they, I mean, I can, I can hold them and pet them and cuddle with them and I don't even get anything. So that's how we can use WellPoint. We can go into thought forms. We could go into ancestral belief systems. We could go into a past life and find a source to clear and release mm -hmm. and heal. Um, we could find something that pops up like a year ago or, you know, when we were a kid or so. That's kind of how you would use it in a practical way. Mm -hmm. That is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, people don't even know that that's where they get those types of things. They're just, they're just like, <laughs> yeah, just allergic to cats. They don't even do anything. And they just, take a pill or you know now I wasn't on prescription medication if I mm -hmm. were to be on prescription medication then I would have gone to the doctor and said okay you know what is your medical doctor plan for me to test this if to see if I still need the pills you know the right. allergy medicine but I figured what's the worst that can happen I have to take some Benadryl you know but yeah right wow and we even um, tested it where we went to the cat rescue multiple times and I touched all the kittens and everything. And then I went home and I didn't have it. So we're like, okay, whoa. green light kids, go pick out your kitties. Wow. <laughs> that's incredible. So that's kind of, I, I love that, that that happened to me because, um, you know, people that know me, they're like, I can't believe you have cats. You know, they're just in shock. They're like, you wouldn't come to my house because I had cats. I'm like, I can, now. I can come now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I know, I know one of the questions that, that people like commonly ask me about these regressions is the part about hypnosis, about being mm -hmm. hyper. Right. People are afraid that they're going to be like influenced or something. I know. That they're unaware of. And they're just like, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you know, I'm so the, can you, can you I was the that? biggest skeptic of all. I I always had this bad impression of like this old like 1980s creepy guy with the you know you're going to get very sleepy and it's like oh in this like old out of date office. I don't know. I just always <laughs> had this like weird, you know, <laughs> thing about hypnosis. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, this is spirit. First of all, it's spiritual hypnosis. It's not clinical. Yeah. Clinical is more traditional. You do that with a therapist, usually, or clinical hypnotherapist. This is spiritual hypnosis. Uh, so we're, you know, looking at Akashic records, agreements, contracts. We're doing different things than you would do, as you know, if you went to a clinical. Okay, so that's one thing. There giving you suggestions and a lot of the traditional hypnotherapy um, to help you with some psychological issues typically or like quit smoking or something. So they're putting, it's called suggestions. We don't, we don't do that. Um, we're not saying you will now think this way or you will now. We're just like the tour guide. We're, we're not, and plus you know everything that's going on and we tape it. <laughs> So that's good, too, because then you can listen yeah. later. Um, and that's always really fun to listen. You don't remember. And you're like, wow, that was really <laughs> cool. I didn't realize. Um, so we're not giving suggestions. The only suggestions in our technique is just you're just relaxed. You're just observing. And they're really, we're not guiding them in, in telling them you're going to go 
meet this person or you're going to go. So it's a much different, Amy. Uh, you're aware of it the entire time. We yeah. just put you in a relaxed state yeah. That, yeah. to try to help the the conscious mind relax a little, not control it. Yeah. And that's set your ego aside for a moment. So you, can. yeah, just so it doesn't filter. And yeah. I always say, you know, we're taught to think before we speak, right? Like mm -hmm. by our mothers, right? <laughs> think before you speak, <laughs> don't say those things. But this is like, speak before you think. And that's really mm -hmm. all it is. It's like, if you're really relaxed and tired and, just um, in that meditative state, explaining a cool dream. That's really all it is. So it's not scary. You can, or it's not, you know, you're not going to go like the stage hypnosis where they're like, okay, everybody's a chicken. It's not <laughs> like that. It's not, that's kind of, that's, <laughs> that's just the little entertainer, you know, show thing. So. Can they really do that? Can they really? Can they really hit people? You? Like they, is it just for show? I've never had it done to me. I was at the Renaissance Festival and some guy did it and people were acting things out. I don't know if it was real or not. Um, I think they can. Yeah. Some, but the, I don't do anything like that. Yeah, for no, me, that's not what we do. <laughs> no, for me it was really... Um, <laughs> You know, a lot of times people have the same issue pop up. And um, so this is a way to look at it from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. And and sometimes the answers will blow your mind. It will not even be what you expect. Like one gal wanted to lose weight, and she had a real addiction to corn chips. She said she loves chips and salsa. That was her – that was the thing that – and do you know, um, when I did a session on her, her, her subconscious mind said, I'm going to make them taste like earwax. And it, and yeah. it was like, ew, right? <laughs> but, you know, you know what? She's lost 38 pounds oh. in a year, in a year. Wow. Yeah. Oh. I was like, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> I haven't tried that on me yet. I'm going to. But, but, you know, there's so many things. I always like, you know, if you have a fear of heights, maybe you died. You know, we had we had a spontaneous healing in class, one of our students, and I can't remember if you were in that class or not, Amy, where I did a session on one of the students, and she saw herself as a jaguar or a cougar or something in this oh, yeah. lifetime. Were you there? Yes. Yeah. You were at that class? And she she was running. I don't know if hunters were chasing her or something. She was running, fell off the cliff and broke her back and died as a yeah, cat. Right. right. And some people were like, is that true? Can you really be a cat? You know, it's not my place to make that determination. Maybe, maybe not. I don't really care. But you know what? Her back pain released in class and she couldn't believe it. Remember that? Yeah. And wow. then she goes, I've always loved cats. And she purred like a cat. And everybody <laughs> class went, like, you got a little cat in you. Maybe you were a cat. I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, under hypnosis. <laughs> she did it under hypnosis. She purred. I sounded like like a lion. I said, it was the craziest thing. So you just don't know what can happen. People, you know, I've seen... People, uh, one lady released her frozen shoulder, 20 years frozen shoulder, and she, like, her arm just, after we did a session, this one was in class, too, and she just, her arm shot up, she goes, I have not been able to raise my arm past this, it shot straight up, and she's like, it doesn't hurt, you know, it, that's yeah. been two years now, and still, she does not have pain, let me yeah. explain to people why, this technique is really cool, okay? Yeah. Because if you have a current relationship and you feel like you're growing apart from your, per let's just, that happens all the time. Look at the divorce rate, you know, look how many people break up and um, definitely do get try a session before you make mm -hmm. any decisions because mm -hmm. sometimes, I mean, there's a million things that could happen. 
Sometimes it could be an attached spirit that nobody even knows about that's blocking, and now all of a sudden they're having relationship problems and they don't know why. Mm, yeah. Right. Sometimes it could be at that certain age, and, and this has happened in sessions, at that certain age, mm -hmm. that, okay, they've repeated a relationship in this lifetime, and they had a relationship in a past life, and, you know, when you hit 35 or 50 or whatever that age, the relationship broke up in that past life, and you're repeating a pattern even though it doesn't have to break up. Right. I mean, there's so many things. Um, and like what the story you were talking about, mm -hmm. there's times when people have found that they're in the wrong match mm -hmm. and then they, they, they explore it, you know, and I've, <laughs> I've saved so many relationships. I can't <laughs> tell you uh, with doing this work. I'm like, just try to look at the bigger picture go mm -hmm. in and see what all of this is because sometimes both partners don't even want to be there together and they're better off you know splitting ways and their other um soul contract with mm -hmm. someone else that and it's more amicable and it's you know and then there's other times when they want to break up and for whatever reason but then they find out a deeper reason for the conflict i mean there's just so yeah. many possibilities mm -hmm. this was kind of interesting there was this gal and this is how you use parallel lives this is really cool because how many of you out there are, like dating two people and not sure which one there's a yeah. lot of people who are like casually dating and they're like well this guy he's like my best friend but i don't and everybody I says we should be together and then you have but this guy is really interested in me and he might want to commit more, you know, or whatever, right? Yeah. <clears throat> that happens a lot for men and women. You know, mm -hmm. And um, same-sex couples, everybody, you know, has that, right? And yeah. so you can go in a parallel life. And let's just say guy number one and guy number two. And we'll use you, Amy, as a fun oh. example. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's say Amy's like, I'm on the fence with guy number one and guy number two. And it's kind of, I'm at a crossroads and I don't know what decision to make because I see positives and negatives with both. Mm -hmm. Well, we take Amy into a past life regression and we check on guy number one and we check on guy number two. Is there any kind of soul connection there? Mm -hmm. And what's the history and what were the problems with that relationship? Because it gives you insight. What if she was cheated on repeatedly by guy number one mm. in a past life and she has some trust issues now with guy number one? Not sure if he's going to be the commitment type, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, so you yeah. go through all that. Then you can do parallel lives where you could go, okay, Amy right now chooses guy number one in a parallel reality. What does that look like? Ooh. And she can go explore and ask questions and, and see what the feeling is, what, you know. And then we could go guy number two, past life and parallel life. What if Amy now at this point in time chooses guy number two? And then look, explore all of that. You can even do future life, future in this life with guy number one and see you know, let's skip 10, 20 years from now. And where does Amy want to, you know, where is she at now? Because she chose guy number one or guy number two, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so cool. I mean, it's just awesome. that could be like the most amazing book, you know, <laughs> just yeah, that totally. one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's really interesting because I've done that before with clients and it's helped them make their decision. Yeah. And then I'll, they'll, they'll write me later and they're like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. he actually said this. Oh, and it like triggered like she knew something from the session, you know. And then um, I had one person who decided no on guy number one and guy number two. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no way. I don't want either one of them. Thank you. 
I ha- I have that service I offer on my website. Oh, you do, <laughs> Amy? I didn't know that. Okay, oh, call Amy. Amy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome because does it, I mean, that helps you make it, you know, a lot of times we just have a chemistry with someone, but they're not the right person. Right. Maybe the chemistry was just kind of a past life and it's really, they're not really even right for you now, you know? Yeah, that's true. (laughs) So, okay. That brings up another question. If somebody is interested in doing this kind of work, what Mm -hmm. if they have an office or can't afford an office space or something like that? Yeah, you can do in-person sessions, um, but also remote. And I love the fact we can do remote sessions because there's a lot of women that are, you know, they're like, I don't want to rent an office space. I want to do a healing business. And I don't want people in my home. This is the perfect healing business. Because you can do it over Zoom, just like Amy and I are right now Mm -hmm. and we Mm -hmm. teach you guys how to we teach the practitioners how to do it sometimes we've gotten more profound deeper results uh with a remote session than with an in-person session so don't you know it doesn't matter yeah all you need is a all you need is a headset we're about to do one for you guys we're going to do an example she's gonna she's gonna me out (laughs) <laughs> We're gonna put Amy under. Feel around in my brain, <laughs> and we're gonna display as usual. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you do that, Amy. I love that you you are so open about your own life because it helps so many other people out there who can you know they they can relate to what you. Yeah, have, so. yeah. Okay, so. Um, so tell us about like what what you're what you're offering right now, and what if I mean I have a lot of people who watch these videos who are not from here. So are you oh. here in Colorado, or can you tell yeah. us the, the classes you're going to be having here? Um, you know, we do the live classes in Colorado right now. We haven't expanded outside of Colorado yet for live classes. We'll be doing that down the road. Um, But so many people were requesting online classes, Amy, that Mm -hmm. we um, took a lot of time and resources to create an online course platform that's really state of the art. So that way, and let me explain how. So um, level one and level two are available now online and level three will be available probably sometime in March, beginning of April. Level one is, you know, you can also, people wanted online because it was less money to take an online class than flying out and, you know, and it's less overhead for us so we could really discount the prices to make it more affordable for people to take the online class. So the level one class, I I have to double check it, but I think it's 41 videos. So it feels like you are actually in class. It's not just audio. And it's not, um, sometimes online classes are like weekly webinars where you have to miss work or you never can make it live because you're working. But this is the way we've created the online training platform is to make it feel like at any time of day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your own time schedule, you log in to this um, online platform, which, you know, a lot of other schools are using this type of scenario. So some of the listeners might have already done this with other classes. You mm-hmm. log in, it tracks your progress, so you don't figure it where you're at, <laughs> and you watch the videos, and it's like 95% of the class is video. And you watch the videos. We had, I had someone take the class on their phone in Lake Michigan on a sailboat <laughs> last summer. Yeah. And then I had um, another person uh, last spring take the online class on a sailboat in uh, the Caribbean. Oh, like Bahamas area on their phone. And then when they would dock with the computer. <laughs> so, I mean, I've had people That's like cool. leave and go on vacation and come back yeah. and then they take the whole class in a week. You have up to two months to get to watch it on your own time frame. 
So you get a certificate. I mean, can you hang it on the wall? Yeah, you get a certificate. It's 50 hours that you get with this class. And so you can professionally offer and you know hypnosis um well point hypnosis method sessions after the level one training and if you want to go on from there you can or you could just stay level one and we have people that are making more money than they've ever made in their healing business before just as a level one mm -hmm. you know they don't even they never really <clears throat> took off with their Reiki sessions and their other types of sessions, but this is in demand work because a lot of writers, mm -hmm. we do a lot of writing coaching. Um, a lot of people want to check on health issues or blocks or life purpose. Yeah. Clear things that maybe it's a reoccurring thing and they're like, you know, I just can't get past this one thing and I've done all this self help. And so you don't have to do it as a business. You could just do it for your own personal use. And we have a lot of practitioners that are not even on our website. <laughs> and they just did it. They wanted to learn the self-hypnosis. They want to do it for themselves and their own personal growth. Um, I have had a lot of students though say, I'm already retired. I'm not, I don't want to do this. You know, I've already, I have. And then they call me later and they're like, uh, I think I'm going to do this as a business. This is really cool. Everybody wants a session. I know. <laughs> like, well, well, good, you should charge, you know. <laughs> it's kind of a no-brainer because it's like even if you don't have a lot of spare time or anything, you could you could squeeze in just two sessions mm -hmm. month, and in the first month you would have you would have your class paid off. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, so cuz the first I charge 222 for for my sessions, which so is very affordable. And that's one thing I love about my WellPoint Hypnosis Method practitioners, my tribe, my soul family. Like, I just love them so much, you guys, because we do more powerful work. And you, this is such a different method um, than kind of some of the more popular. And I don't want to name names, but there's past life regression people out there charging $800 a session. I'm telling you, you're going to get a better session with what we're what Amy's doing for her yeah. price, okay? And most of the practitioners charge around 200, 250, you know, for remote sessions, and mm -hmm. and it is, you know, yeah, that's not mm -hmm. like you know, if you went to uh, get a tarot reading, you know at a metaphysical fair or something of course not mm -hmm. but you're getting a recording you know you're getting a two to three hour session this stuff is life-changing I've had people call me up and say I don't care how much you will charge me I'm gonna fly in and I want a session mm -hmm. and because this stuff works and you know we're we're still um, getting videos out there, and Amy's going to do a session so you guys can see a little <laughs> clip of her session. That's going to be so cool. Um, but anyway, you can make a really good living. I have practitioners that right out of class, right out of level one class, started making $1,000 a week. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have some now that mm -hmm. after two years, they're booking 10 sessions a week, every week. And you, you know, some people charge more than 250, but if you say 250 is kind of an average, you know, mm -hmm. number. I mean, that's really great income from your house. <laughs> <laughs> and most are doing class? remote sessions. So I'm sorry. Yeah, how, how much is your class and when does it start? Yeah. Um, well, for the level one online, it's 675. Uh, but Amy, she's such a sweetie pie. Uh, yeah, she use Amy. Tell me, Amy sent you because you can get it for four ninety nine. And like Amy said, two sessions you can pay for your class. So it's you know really amazing. And um, and awesome. so you have to use coupon code Amy though. <laughs> for the month of March. So um, we're going to do that for Amy's listeners. Because she was like, Christina, I love my listeners so much. She's like, is there some little special <laughs> gift you can give them? <laughs> and I was like, yes, because I love you, Amy. Okay, Thank so you, you. so if you want to take the online class, and, and we have a sale, 
the Amy special love <laughs> sale. <laughs> <laughs> but Amy and I were talking and we're like, why don't we do something else too? Like, uh -huh. How about the first 20 people, Amy and I are going to do a private like one hour webinar like this and you guys can ask us all kinds of questions and we can look into past lives, parallel lives and explore all of it. So um, it's it gets a little hectic when it's more than 20 people, <laughs> so yeah. it gets chaos, and then nobody gets their questions answered, so it's better to kind of keep a limit, but the for, and I'll let, um, once people sign up, Amy put me in charge of the tracking. <laughs> I'll, I'll email you and let you know if, if you made it in the first 20 for the webinar, and then give you the dates and all get the dates. That sounds great. That sounds It'll really It'll be in great. April. April. Do you know the yeah. date yet? Uh, I'm so sorry. Amy. It's, not, it's, not, <laughs> it's not right in front of me. I can't remember. It was on a Friday, I think. Okay. Remember we decided, but okay. Um, oh, if no, someone, no, I, mean the, I mean the date for the class. Oh, the class starts as soon as you enroll. Oh, it's it's available right now. Uh huh. So if someone hears this and they're like, "Hey, you know, March is kind of slow. I think I want to get going." Oh, or awesome. you wait to the last day. You start whenever you're, you know, whenever. I know you a lot of my feminines who are going to be extremely interested in this. This is just going to be awesome for them. Awesome, awesome. Well, we wanted to make it affordable because, look, I'm a working mom, and I've taken a lot of classes over the years, healing classes. You know, you name it. <laughs> I'm like, cool. <laughs> it's like a hobby, you know? <laughs> and uh, so and and it's like, you know what? Um, being a working mom, there's a lot of classes I had to say no to because, you know, I had to pay for basketball and football and dance classes and all that other stuff. And being a small business owner, you know, it's, um, and I was like, you know, now when I did decide to teach this, I'm like, mm -hmm. I want to make it easy if there's someone, and it doesn't have to be working moms, but what if you're retired or what if you're mm -hmm. 25 and you're, you know, uh, I have a new student that just, she's signing up this week, and she's um, an author, and she's, she's like, she's, she's young, like 23. She's writing sci-fi novels. Oh, cool. And she's signing up for the online class, and she's like, well, I have a day job <laughs> that she works, <laughs> um, because her, her writing hasn't taken off yet, and she's like, and I'm on a really tight budget, because I'm trying to write, and everything, but you know, this was a really affordable for That's her. Awesome. And yeah, she's like, like, and I can take it in between my job. Life. Yeah. And she wants to help other writers. That's and she awesome. wants to do the, you know, and also we give you guys, we give the practitioner scripts for group events. So hmm. maybe yeah, you want right. to go to a yeah. yoga studio once a month and do a re past life regressions or our f future life progression work. Or, and the crowds love it. There was a gal, uh, one of our practitioners, Amy, mm -hmm. and she did the winter solstice at a healing center in Glastonbury in the UK. The healing center loved it so much, she panicked. And she emails me and she's like, Christina, what do I do? They want something every month. <laughs> <And> I <don't laughs> I like calm down. You have the scripts. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> it's okay. And I was like, and I helped her map out like all the different scripts that we have for our practitioners for each month. And there's yeah. a lot of people that that's how they grow their client base. They'll just do a break it down really simply. I, I mean, I just love it's it's Aww. just you just step right in and play the role. That's it. It, yeah, we wanted to make it really turnkey, so it's not like it is. You know, it's very simple. So if you were busy lifestyle, you could, and you know, the yoga teachers love it because now they they do their yoga classes, but then at the studio they'll do you know a, a regression once a week, or um, mm -hmm. people are doing retreats like sacred travel. I have one practitioner; she's taking a group to Egypt. And they're going to be on the Nile River. I'm like, you got to get video Ooh. of this. And they're going to do an earth and ancestral regression that we do Ooh. from our level two class. I don't know if you that remember that, so Amy. Cool. And she's going to do that on the Nile <laughs> River. With, I'm like, ooh, that's really, really cool. So you can get creative. That would be awesome. 
Yeah. Or you could just yeah. say, you know what? I just only want to do past life regression from the comfort yeah. of my own home, book five clients a week, and only work 15 hour work week part time, mm -hmm. and bring in a thousand dollar income a week. And, you know, like, and I just want to keep it real low key. And, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there was one guy that, um, uh, was going to homeless shelters and youth hostels. And he was using WellPoint to help people who were wow. having hard times in their life. A lot of homeless people had like, you know, alcoholism and other things and he wanted to, you know, he was using that. So you That's just incredible. it could be for charity work. Sure. It doesn't oh have to gosh. be a business, you know. There's wow. another gal. I don't think she was in your class, Amy, um, but she was doing work with prisons for women and doing like past wow. life regressions and stuff for free. She's using WellPoint. That is so cool. It's in a different state than in Colorado. And, I loved um, both my classes. Loved it. Oh, well, we loved having and you. I met the neatest people. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they were having a <laughs> They were making fun of me, calling me the millennial. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Amy. <laughs> I don't think I'm as young as you think I am. <laughs> You're young at heart. <laughs> I am very young at heart. I'm See, all the spiritual kid. work you do, Amy, is so anti-aging. We think right? you're younger than you are. <laughs> They're all making fun of me for being a kid. I'm like, I'm not a kid. You're like, I'm older than you are. I just don't have wrinkles. <laughs> no, it was really fun. It was really awesome. <laughs> Saw my posts on that back a while ago. It was in Loveland. <laughs> Yay. And I really look forward to talking to Ted's um, next week as well. You guys can keep an eye out for that video. Um, yeah, he's excited to be on your show. Yay. Um, so we're going to give, you're going to give me all the information to, to give to okay. all the Okay. Yeah, I'll go ahead and say it now. Yeah, I'll say it now for anyone listening and they, okay. um, but then you could maybe put it in the description of the YouTube. For sure. Yeah. Um, go to wellpointhypnosismethod.com. In this store, you'll see level one online and it says 675. You just click that. And then when you go to checkout, it will say coupon code. Put Amy. That's it. Mm -hmm. Just Amy. <laughs> um, and click apply, and it will take you to four ninety nine discount. For some reason, if it doesn't work, you can contact me through the website um, or someone through our website, and we'll help you. Okay. So don't worry. Thank and you Amy, so much for doing this. Oh, it's our pleasure. You know, Amy, you do so much great work, and, and I love the fact that you wanted to do something to help your audience, you know, because I go on a lot of radio shows, Amy, and I'll tell you, I've never had anyone say, would you do a huge mega discount for my listeners if they want to? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes, thank you for asking, right? Ask and you shall receive, because I was like, that's so cool. <laughs> And so, and, and you guys be in that call. We're going to have so much fun. I know it's going to be a blast. And I'll let people know, you know, if they made it for the first 20, Okay. I'll give them all the details and, you know, um, but, oh, I just hope you guys join us. It's such a cool group. And then, you know, once you're a practitioner, you can trade with other practitioners if you want, or, you know, I have practitioners yeah, that give to yeah, yeah, and I and some people, some of the well point hypnosis method practitioners, they just they're like, I just want to work with your students mm -hmm. and give them a student discount, and I don't really want to go do outside clients, and they just do that. Like, you never know. And so, it's it's really you know such a great group, and we hope you'll join us. I think we're in like twelve or thirteen countries now. Awesome. Um, so, and we're putting together a teacher training program probably in a year-ish. And Amy, yeah. I really want Amy to teach I for know. us. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm all about so, that. That would be great. That'd so, be great. some people 
are like, wow, this is a cool career path that I would like to take. We want to support that too. But again, we have probably 50, 60% of the people are not even that take the class are not even on the website and they just do it for their own personal growth. So since mm -hmm. there's nothing good on TV anymore, <laughs> <laughs> go into the quantum field. <laughs> <laughs> so much more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> it's true. Oh my god. <laughs> Something that's gonna benefit you. Yeah. Shut up that TV and <laughs> some, uh, you know. And and oh I forgot to tell you guys. In all the classes, I mean even in the level one class, Ted teaches you how to he this is funny. Everybody knows about Ted from his like sound healing brainwave frequencies, mm -hmm. but he was actually international bestseller and how he really is well known is through his vocal training. Oh, wow. And so because he's my husband, I was like pulled some strings. I'm like, you need to teach all my practitioners how to use their voice as a healing instrument and so you'll receive toning instruction and in how yeah. to tune your voice so you know that's mm -hmm. in the level one and we have him he he does things in the level two and the level three classes as well yeah, so awesome. you'll get that too yay <laughs> you would get you both <laughs> tell ted i said hi and then i look forward to our talk too okay i will all right well thank you so much and uh, thank you amy if you want more information just go down in the description and uh and there you have it and you're welcome <laughs> see you guys in class <laughs> yeah we'll see you in april <laughs> take care thanks amy you're welcome bye bye Hey, if you like my videos, please share, subscribe, and set your bell notifications on so you'll know the moment they come out. Also, don't forget that you can go to my website and order a personal reading at amysatori.com forward slash services. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.